Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is introduction to ACL Benford's Law. So in this workshop, I'm gonna, as you probably know, I'm gonna be showing you how to perform Benford's Law using ACL. So what we're gonna do here is essentially I'm gonna show you high level theory. So basically, Benford's Law says that a number numbers with leading digits should occur within a logarithmic distribution. Uh, where lower numbers, sh lower leading digits should occur more often than um, higher leading digits. So I'm going to show you the math behind it. It's pretty simple, straightforward. So we can go log the number that you're looking at. In this case, it's 1. So how, how often do we expect 1 to be the leading digit if we're just looking at the first digit? Log minus, so minus log of the number. And then what you'll see here is that we total it up it adds up to 100 percent so for example we expect in a population with naturally occurring numbers with that with many folds of magnitude uh that 30 percent of the numbers would start with the one so if you look at gdp population sizes city sizes uh, a whole bunch of lake sizes a whole bunch of different distributions uh, you'll see that this will continually occur uh, within a certain threshold and we can get into what that threshold would look like. But enough about Excel, let's start using ACL. So I'm using the tutorial analytics file, which I would have continued on from the previous uh, ACL training lessons. So I recommend that you check them out. I'll try to include a card uh, below right now so you can check it out if you, if you think it would be helpful to follow along after watching those videos. So I'm going to show you how to perform it through the interface first. So we're going to go Benford's. And then it's going to ask you to pick a number, pick like one of your numeric fields. In this case, I'm going to pick trans, trans amount. And how many leading digits you, do you want to look at? You can look at one. I think it's up to six. Six would be, I've never seen that done before. I've seen one or two. Six would be pretty insane. Like you have have a pretty like large um, data sets to, to actually build to six. But uh, more power to you if you can. And then I'm going to click on include uh, upper and lower bounds and these bounds will basically tell me whether or not uh, whether or not the numbers are statistically significant outside the expected distribution and first we're going to put it to graph <coughs> press okay and what you'll see is this bar chart tells you how much the amount uh, expected to uh, what's the actual count and this orange line right here will tell us what the expected count was so what's the actual compared to the expected and then the upper and lower bound distribution. So not the prettiest graph in the world, but uh, we have to make do. Uh, and I could also change it to be, turn it output to a screen, or you can even put it to a table. But I'm gonna show you how to put it to a table using a script. So what you'll see here is that the Z stat score is the higher the score, the worse it is. So the lower the score, the better. It's kind of like P values or, or um, it's opposite of T values where T values would tell you. Uh, well, I guess similar. Anyways, um, typically the higher the, the Z stat score, the worse it is. So for example, you'll see here it's five. So anything over, I think 4.35 is usually not that good. So you'll see here the expected count was 75. The extra count was 136. The lower bound was 115. Uh, and then the higher bound was actually uh, 156. So you'll see, oh, sorry, uh, opposite. This is the actual, this is expected. And you'll see that the actual is much lower than lower bound. And you'll see down here as well, the actual is actually higher than the upper bound, which is uh, not that good. But anyways, let's try scripting it. So I'm just going to script it up here just so that... Uh, we can do it. So what we need to do is go Benford. It's similar to other functions. Uh, Benford on, and then we have to list out the uh, the field transaction amount, and it's going to ask us how many leading digits. So this guy, I'm going to just do two. Uh, it's like some, something different. So and then we're going to go bounds, which basically uh, will allow us to see the upper and lower bound. I'm not sure if it's actually bound or bounds. We'll we'll find it in a second, and then we'll put it to screen. So it is bounce. Okay, perfect. So you'll see here, um, 
a couple of them are right away. So you'll see 11 is not too cooperative. Uh, you'll scroll down and see a couple others as well. But if I wanted to, for example, instead of putting it to screen, I want to put it to table. You could also put it to Benford.fill. And then we're going to go find that table because I should have. I'm going to open it actually. Open Benford. And then you'll see here, now you put it to the table. You can manipulate further. You can join with other data. You can export if you want. So that's Benford's law using ACL. If you have any other questions, comments, things that you think I should be covering, different tools, uh, insights that you want to gain from me, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.